a harsh land of rock and wind. A thousand years ago, Zagawa nomads swept down from here and conquered the south, founding Chad's first empire, Kanem. Mustafa is a modern Zagawa nomad, and today his people lead Chad once again, by way of President Idris Debi, a member of the tribe, and the Zagawa-dominated Chadian army. Mustafa's a part-time soldier, living his ancestors' traditions, the rough-and-tough world of camel herding. We don't care about Chad or Sudan. Any place where there's pasture, that's our land. All the Zagawa people, whether here or in Sudan, are one. In 1923, the British and the French drew a line right through this land, dividing the Zagawa people between Chad and Sudan. Now the tribe leads not only the government of Chad, but also rebel groups across the border in Sudan. Along with cross-border influence, the Zagawa also have cross-border loyalties, especially toward the suffering of their people in Darfur. Sudan is our number one enemy. I'm alive, but how many of my brothers did they kill? And they stole. How much money did they steal? Those people of Darfur are my brothers. If even one of them died, I should go fight for them. Strong feelings that Chad's president, Idris Debi, can ill afford to ignore. He knows this land. The president was born here, trained as a rebel in Darfur, and fought his way to power across these valleys. Each year, new rebel groups challenge Debi and his government from these same borderlands. To survive, he has to shore up this area. In the remote Sultanate of Kabka, on the Chadian frontier, Zagawa youth celebrate a wedding. Vibrant but illiterate, they're tens of kilometers from the nearest road, clinic, or school. The closest sign of the state is this shack, where hungry children walk hours to come learn the rudiments of French. President Debbie created the Kabka Sultanate, if not to fill their stomachs, at least to fill their pride. He has to keep the base happy or face revolution from this notoriously unstable borderland. May Welsh Al Jazeera, Eastern Chad.